Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner, reading from the New Oxford Book of English Verse. This poem is by Sir Walter Raleigh, um, more famed for seafaring perhaps for some people than uh, his poetry. Um, he lived from 1552-ish to 1618. Um, he was beheaded. <laughs> now, I don't know when he wrote this poem. Um, but it would appear it's supposed to be just before he was beheaded. The reason I'm reading it is because the first little verse I've known for years and years, um, because it's about pilgrimage, and uh, I don't think I ever realised there was more to it than that. So, This poem is called The Passionate Man's Pilgrimage, supposed to be written by one on the, at the point of death by Sir Walter Raleigh. Give me my scallop shell of quiet, my staff of faith to walk upon, my scrip of joy, immortal diet, my bottle of salvation, my gown of glory, hope's true gauge, and thus I'll take my pilgrimage. Blood must be my body's balmer, no other balm will there be given, whilst my soul, like a white palmer, travels to the land of heaven, over the silver mountains where spring the nectar fountains, and there I'll kiss the bowl of bliss and drink my eternal fill on every milk and hill. My soul will be a dry before, but after it will ne'er thirst more. And by the happy blissful way, more peaceful pilgrims I shall see that have shook off their gowns of clay and go apparelled fresh like me. I'll bring them first to slake their thirst and then to taste those nectar suckets at the clear wells where the sweetness dwells drawn up by saints in crystal buckets. And when our bottles and all we are filled with immortality, then the holy paths will travel strewed with rubies thick as gravel, ceilings of diamonds, sapphire floors, high walls of coral and pearl bowers. From thence to heaven's bribeless hall, where no corrupted voices brawl, no conscience molten into gold, no forged accusers bought and sold, no cause deferred nor vain spent journey, for there Christ is the king's attorney, who pleads for all without degrees, and he hath angels, but no fees. When the grand twelve million jury of our sins with sinful fury Against our soul's black verdicts give. Christ pleads his death, and then we live. Be thou my speaker, taintless pleader, Unblotted lawyer, true proceeder. Thou movest salvation even for alms, Not with a bribed lawyer's palms. And this is my eternal plea To him that made heaven, earth, and sea. Seeing my flesh must die so soon, And want a head, to die next noon, just at the stroke where my veins start and spread, set on my soul an everlasting head. Then I, then am I ready, like a palmer fit, to tread those blessed paths which before I writ. Thank you. I love the saints' crystal buckets. That's particularly nice. And the um, was it the rubies and the paths like gravel. There's a wonderful picture of heaven for someone who is uh, facing death fairly soon. For other poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. Thank you.